I hope you are excited because today, you guys, we have with us Adrian Toby from Training Business Pros. Um, if anybody's using WordPress and Infusionsoft, which I'm assuming just about everybody is in one way or another, um, Adrian's going to be showing us uh, some really cool stuff here around uh, WordPress and Infusionsoft integrations and pro hacks, tools, best practices, all this good, good stuff. So, um, with no further ado, uh, I'm, I'm excited and thrilled to uh, to introduce and bring you guys here, uh, Adrian Toby. Adrian, uh, welcome. Thanks so much for joining us on the Business Booster this week. Thank you for having me, Matt. I really, really, really appreciate it. So, uh, should I just start off with the agenda? Do a little bit of an introduction? Yeah, yeah. Let us. Uh, who who the heck are you? Right, <laughs> and so, I've made you hi, presenter as well. So, hi everyone, my name is Adrian, uh, I'm from Toronto, Canada, and uh, I work for a company called Training Business Pros. We are one of the largest certified partner organizations in Canada. Uh, in addition to being a partner, uh, I'm also a developer for, for Infusion, well not for Infusionsoft, but I publish tools that people can use with WordPress and Infusionsoft in order to make their uh, web forms, opt-ins, and a bunch of cool stuff happen on the automation side as far as their own server and proprietary information is concerned. Uh, so that's a little bit about me. I've been using Infusionsoft for about four years now, so I'm fairly fairly equated with the software. So we're going to see if we can help you guys uh, you know, who may not know what the best practice is as far as WordPress is concerned, uh, learn to see what you could be doing differently in order to drive uh, higher conversions. Is my audio really low? Is yeah, you're That's you're you're fairly here. quiet. All right, let's see if I can quickly fix that. Hi, can you, can anybody hear me now? Really, really great. Oh, How that's so much out? better. So much better. So much better. Fantastic. All right. So there we go. So that was Herb Alpert in the now. Tijuana Brass. Thank you. <laughs> right on. Right on. Okay. So without further ado, um, so what I'm going to talk about today is uh, I'm going to introduce a few plugins uh, that we use for ourselves and for our clients that we see a lot of success with in order to drive conversions, opt-ins, and all of those things, as well as help us on the automation side of things and the campaign builder. And uh, I'm going to focus a little bit on, on client continuity. And at the, at the end of the presentation, we're going to go into the new Infusionsoft WordPress plugin that, that they just released, which is really, really, really cool. It does a lot of neat things. And we're going to see where the best places to implement that uh, and how to use it in order to get the best results. So I'm going to start sharing my screen here. So the first one we're going to look at is actually one that I created. It's called FormLift, and it's free to download in the WordPress repository. You can just go to, the, you, to your WP admin area, go to the plugin section, search up FormLift, and download it. And what it does, uh, at least for the free version, what it does is a few things that you might find interesting. Um, number one is that... Uh, the thank you pages that the web forms currently provide in the campaign builder are great. They're personalized, and they do all of those things. But the, you know, the, it's it's hard to keep people on your website after they after that point unless you put a link on the thank you page to send them back to that area. So if you want to keep them on your website and you want to do something a little bit cooler than just using the hosted thank you page or the hosted thank you page, uh, you can. This comes built in with a bunch of short code that makes populating client information from Infusionsoft on WordPress pages really, really easily. So we'll look at a quick example of that and what that might look like. So here I am on, uh, on, my, on formlift.net, so one of my websites. And what we can do is if you're coming from an email or you're coming from a web form or any of those website or um, so any of those channels uh, with the URL, what's called UTM parameters, I won't get into the technical details, but we can send information to a page and the information will automatically populate whether it's in a form or in WordPress and just in the page and the content and cool things like that. And if we look at another example of that. So if you're just looking for a page, you can use these short codes to actually print it in the words. So I can say, uh, hello, Adrian Toby, thank you for contacting us today. 
we'll, our team will be in touch with you in, um, say, one business day, and you can put that right in the text. So that's something that you can do if you're looking for a different personalized thank you page solution. Uh, this is absolutely free in the WordPress repository. You can go download it. It also comes with a bunch of other cool features. I implore you to go check it out. Um, autofill form fields, the personalized thing. Uh, you can redirect to different thank you pages based on what people submit. Uh, all of it's extremely customizable. It's 100% mobile responsive. It validates all of your information. So one of the one things that Infusionsoft Web Forms currently do is if you enter information wrong and you click that submit button, it takes you off whatever page you're on and it sends you to the hosted thank you or the hosted web form. This will not allow you to do that. And uh, the new Infusionsoft official plugin, which we'll get into, also does that, which is great. Uh, but if you're going with this solution, it won't let you do that. It'll make sure that they stay on that page for as long as possible in order to make sure that their user journey is continuous. Okay, so the next one that I'm going to talk about is what I use as uh, along with Formlift. It's called Pop-Up Maker. It's the top-rated uh, free solution for pop-ups currently available for WordPress. It has over a thousand positive five-star reviews, and like Formlift, it's also super customizable. And we'll take a look at what that might look like in a second. Essentially. Uh, Automation pop-ups, scroll, scroll to click, click to open, embedded, all of those things. It's a super useful solution if you're looking for something that's extremely customizable uh, that you really, really want to take control of. So unlike other solutions where you're kind of left with, uh, you know, what, what they give to you, so 30 days, 10 days, uh, you have to open it this way, you can really define exactly what it is, what you want. So it doesn't integrate natively with, with Infusionsoft because all it does is create pop-ups, and that's all it does really, really, really well. But Formlift integrates to in, for, with Infusionsoft, and what you would do, or what I would recommend, is you take uh, you know, Contact Form 7, Gravity Forms, Formlift, whatever it is that you want to use, and you can just stick it into one of these pop-ups and then use the automation of the pop-up maker in order to make it really, 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 really effective. So just a quick statistic on, on pop-ups, by the way. Um, it, as part of uh, what we do here, we make sure that we see a bunch of statistics to, to prove that you know, these things work, and we see that pop-ups actually have a great increase or cause a great increase in conversions uh, for specific types of products. So free products, you know, you subscribe to the email list, so on and so forth. If you have a pop-up driving that, you're going to see maybe a 500% increase in the amount of people that actually engage with it. Okay. We'll go look at the back end at this near the end after we make through all of the other plugins. But before I go forward, are there any questions? No? Fantastic. Yeah, so I think, uh, so, so Nathan was asking how these are integrated with Infusionsoft, and um, I think, like you said, you're going you're gonna to get into that those details a little bit more into the weeds on that kind of stuff uh, after you kind of go through an overview of, of some of these, right? Exactly. So we're going to get into the weeds a little bit uh, near the end because I want to make sure that I, I mention all of the ones that are super helpful. Cool. Nice. All right. So uh, the last one, uh, or the second last one, is the Infusionsoft official opt-in form plugin. Uh, which has just been released. It's brand new. It's only it's only up to 700 active installs. Well, I say only. That's quite a lot. But uh, so so not everybody's on board yet. But they should be because it's actually extremely useful. So so I would I would equate this to a another plugin called Thrive Leads. If anybody's affiliated with that plugin, it's extremely helpful and extremely complex, and it's not very user friendly. Um, but Infuse, the, this plugin is essentially a free version of that, except it's user friendly and it's super helpful. And people who are new to Infusionsoft can really, really, really pick it up really, really, really quickly. Um, a lot of us are partners here, so I'm sure all of you have already spent a lot of time uh, going into this and making sure it's working. So I just like to talk about the, kind of your use cases with this one. So it's not really designed to uh, help you run automation. So that's one of the things. A lot of people use web forms to, to run their automation in the back end for certain people, you know, if they don't want to 
uh, mess with internal forms and they just want a web form that they can go find the link easily to, you know, on their bandwidth, whatever, from on their mobile phone, this is really not what you want to use for that. This is great for top of funnel, so collecting, uh, so collecting leads uh, that come from AdWords, ad spend organically, putting them in the email list, giving them a nurture campaign, and then you know, having them part with their credit card information on their door form. That's what this is really, really good at. Not necessarily uh, more complex stuff like intake forms, um, long forms, you know, with 10 plus fields, lots of radio buttons, not, not at strong suit, but if you're just collecting first name, email address, phone number, it's an absolutely great solution in order to drive your top of funnel. What is great for those other things, though, for um, your automation, your intake forms, your, your, your bigger ones, would be form lift, uh, because those are extremely customizable and you can suit it as, as much as you, or style it as much as you need to suit your website style and all of those things, and uh, has the auto population feature and all of that. So if you're using automation, use that one. If you're using top of funnel, use, use Infusionsoft. And I have a question here. I'm using the Infusionsoft plugin. Some clients' installation haven't been successful with the API, so maybe just a bit buggy. So the Infusionsoft official opt-in forms is a fork of, um, if anybody's not affiliated with the fork, what that means is uh, somewhere down the line of another plugin's development, Infusionsoft licensed or got permission in order to continue development on their own with, their, with another person's software. So what they're currently doing is they're suiting someone else's software to best fit their needs uh, and the needs of their clients. So it actually says that right at the bottom. If you're interested uh, a little bit more on that, uh, the Infusionsoft opt-in forms is a fork of the Bloom plugin by Elegant Themes released under so on and so forth. So if you're interested in, in learning a little bit more about that, uh, so they're currently working on all those bugs. It, it, I have tested it myself and it is, you know, there's, there's, there's work to be done. It's not a perfect solution. Uh, uh, but most of the time, I'm going to say like 80% of the time, we've seen success with installing it with clients. Does that answer your question? All right. Take that as a yes. Yes, thanks. Fantastic. So the last one, uh, here we go. So the last one is if you're already married to a solution like Gravity Forms or Contact Form 7 or, or some other solution that you're currently using, uh, in order to drive or help you drive your automation, this is a quick solution also developed by yours truly to help you with that. So if you're sending uh, people to pages from Infusionsoft emails, what you can do is you can follow the instructions right here and auto-populate your form fields accordingly. Uh, so, you know, fill up the, uh, the hidden email address fields just so they don't have to see it from the email. It'll take care of that no matter what solution you're using for your opt-in forms or your web forms. So that again, that this one is called autofill form fields. It does one thing and one thing only, and it's really good at it. All right. So at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to get into some some of the more nitty gritty stuff and looking at how these plugins integrate with Infusionsoft and the best way to use them. Uh, and yeah, we're just going to go into it. So we're going to start off with uh, form lift. So here we have your standard web form currently imported into a demo site for with WordPress uh, with Formlift activated. So what it actually does is it grabs the HTML code from whatever your currently existing web forms are. So if you already have web forms and you don't want to make the, the change to tags or, or the WordPress goal or any of that and you just want to stay where you are, this is what you need. So once you activate it with your Infusionsoft API and, uh, and your app name, there's a form import feature, and you just select from a list of whatever web forms you currently have in your Infusionsoft application. You click Replace Form Code, and what it'll do is a, a whole bunch of back-end stuff will happen, and it'll reset uh, whatever current form code that you have uh, with the new one, and you're good to go. And you can immediately just copy the short code and code paste that on whatever page it is that you need. We have a plethora of styling options in order to be able to, to change things. So we have uh, button colors, border colors. Uh, you can change what the font for the labels look like. You can change what the uh, uh, what the errors the error message looks like if they submit something incorrectly. Let's try another one here that has all the fields. 
that one does not exist. We have a lot of web forms in our application. There we go. Okay, so here's your pretty standard web form. You've got first name, last name, email address. If you want to just go ahead and you want to change the button colors, you can go do that. Super easy, nice color picker, so you don't need to look around for any hex colors. How does the CAPTCHA work? I, sorry, I just have a question here. Does that work in the JavaScript version of Infusionsoft Web Forms? Sorry if that's already been answered, uh, hopped in late. So the answer is uh, if you're using the JavaScript snippet, you should stop and you should use the HTML instead. Uh, so it won't work with your current JavaScript installations. It doesn't take care of that automatically. You'd have to go through them. You'd have to go uh, use this uh, form import feature with Infusionsoft and, and go through that process manually. And we have one other, one, one other question. How does the CAPTCHA work? Infusionsoft already has the CAPTCHA. Does this duplicate it? So the answer to that is uh, Infusionsoft's CAPTCHA uh, came in after the development of this plugin. Uh, so this was meant to solve that issue before Infusionsoft solved it. And it did for a while, but now Infusionsoft uh, took care of that. But what you can do is um, uh, if you want to take care of it, client side and you don't want to take care of it on on the Infusionsoft hosted page, you can enable the CAPTCHA here. I don't have mine currently set up on the demo site, but you just click a little checkbox there that says turn on Google CAPTCHA with your API key and then a little CAPTCHA will show up right above the submit button. Does that answer your question? No, it doesn't answer your question. Did I miss something? Okay. The problem is that there will be two, two captions. Only if they sub so so the way that the captcha works is you if you opt out of the captcha in the web form, uh, the, there's an option to opt out in the settings. So you can either do that, and if you want to take care of it client side, and it will show the second captcha, but only if there's repeated submissions on the same web form from from the same IP address. So it wouldn't show it to me the first time I opted in, but if I started to opt in with the same web form, for example, for, if you're testing something three or four times, it'll start showing you that Infusionsoft CAPTCHA. So I guess, so the answer to your question is I would actually remove, I wouldn't use the CAPTCHA in FormLift because that issue has already been addressed by Infusionsoft. So I wouldn't, I would just not use it. Okay, so there's, okay, thanks, great. I'm glad that answered your question. Uh, the last thing we're going to talk about before we move on to the, to the next one, to the pop map maker, is there's also a bunch of conditional display settings. So a lot of people who do webinars, uh, events, this will be extremely useful for you. If you have limited amount of something, for example, the first 10 people to get here and opt in, get this free whatever, you can specify different conditions that you want them to be able to do that. You can have uh, uh, show within a date range. You can have a submission cutoff number, so only after a certain amount of submissions will this, or will this form display. Uh, there, and you can show a message when it's unavailable. So if I hit that max submission number or, you know, we're out of the date range where this thing can show, uh, then we're going to display some HTML here that says, all right, it looks like you missed out, but what you can do is you can go to this page instead to get 10% off whatever. All right. And um, I forgot about one thing that's actually really useful. This is a premium feature. This isn't, an, uh, this isn't a free option. But what you can do is create uh, submission-based redirects. So if you have a field, for example, a radio button, or you want to split people based on their first name or their email address or where they're coming from, you can do a whole bunch of neat automation here. So I've, someone's email contains Gmail, for example. I want to send them to a specific thank you page. Or if their email, uh, contains Hotmail, I'm going to send them to a specific landing page. And there's a whole bunch of different things you can do based off of uh, contains, does not contain, starts with, does not start with, uh, equals, does not equal, so on and so forth, with redirects, drop downs, really any of your form fields can go into this. And what you do is you just copy this thank you page, you stick that into the thank you page URL of your web form in the campaign builder, 
and it'll shoot back here. It'll take care of uh, this little logic generator and send your people or send your leads to the appropriate landing page. So that's not a really cool feature, but that's only, that's only for uh, when you license Formlift and it's not immediately available if it's free. All right, so the next one we're gonna go to is the pop-up maker. So this doesn't integrate with Infusionsoft at all. It's just something that we find extremely useful when we're using uh, uh, other different web form, um, web form solutions other than the, uh, other than the, what am I, what was I about to say? Other than the Infusionsoft official opt-in plugin. So I, I really like this one because it's extremely customizable to be able to do exactly what it is that you want. So I can select uh, reasons for certain things being opened. So if I want it to be opened when a cookie is applied or I want it to be opened when a click happens, and it allows me to specify exactly in detail um, how many seconds I want it to be down to the milliseconds. So it's really, really great for that. I can choose what size I want it to be, uh, what the minimum width, the maximum width, uh, what the um, animation type is, all of those things. It's super helpful to be able to take care of that. And the other cool thing that it does is, uh, beyond that, they give you a bunch of default themes to be able to start creating your own themes off of. So if you have like a standard theme that you just want to use for your entire website that you find works really, really, really well, you can just use this one for all of your pop-ups. It's kind of like page templates uh, when using them with uh, WordPress pages. So you can just click on the little icon here or, or any part of this uh, preview and it'll take you to the relevant section or where those settings are. Super helpful. And again, as, as much custom as much customizability as there was in Formlift you have here. Uh, all of the font sizes, the positions, the colors, um, what fonts you want to use, it's all available for you to make sure that uh, it fits exactly with what you want to accomplish as far as your styling is concerned with your uh, WordPress installation. Okay, so we're, the last one we're going we're gonna to look at is, of course, the Infusionsoft official opt-ins form plugin. So I'm sure mo most of us are already affiliated uh, with this plugin, so I'm just gonna hit some of the, the big things that it does and the best way that it should be used. So uh, they thought of a lot of things. I actually went through all of the source code and, and checked it out and saw what it did in the back end. So, one of the cool things that it does is it automatically applies your tracking code to your entire website automatically. So if you want to, so in your contact record, there's a little section called web profile uh, at the bottom of the screen of the contact record. And you can see what pages they visit on your website where the tracking code is currently active. So this will, automatically apply the tracking code to the entire website. So if they come to your website, you can see what their entire journey was, which is really, really, really neat. Uh, along with that, uh, the, this doesn't actually utilize Infusionsoft native web form solution. So all of the web forms actually live in WordPress. They don't belong to Infusionsoft. So when it gets sent to Infusionsoft, uh, there's no CAPTCHA, so, so you have to know that, that. Since the web forms are actually in WordPress, when it gets sent to Infusionsoft via the API, there's, there's currently no CAPTCHA solution, I believe. So something to be aware of uh, if you're putting these on your website. And something that I think is being addressed by, by the current developers. I had a conversation with them while I was at, uh, while I was at Icon, so they're, they're working on it. Okay, so the other thing is that it's, uh, for those of you who haven't used it yet, it's a step-by-step -step process setup. So if anybody's familiar with Thrive, it's very, very similar. Uh, you go through the opt-in form and you choose which one you want. You choose what the settings are. So if you want to go with inline fly-in pop-up, locked content, and locked content is really neat. So if you have premium content or if you have content that you want people to, to 
already be on your list in order to achieve. You can lock it with your name and email address to give it, and then it will continue to show the rest of the content. And then you go up through your fairly standard setup feature. Uh, you give it a name. You choose what kind of design you want. Go through all of the templates. There's over 100, and 100 plus templates in here to choose from. And it's fairly customizable. There's not a whole lot. You can change the colors, the borders, uh, the, the general style of it. It's not as customizable for, say, as the, um, the pop-up maker is. But still, it's pretty, pretty useful. Uh, and I would, I would absolutely use it. So it's great for putting in sidebars on blogs. So if you have a blog and in your right-hand sidebar, you want to say subscribe to the list and you get 10% off whatever, it's absolutely great for that. It's also great uh, for an initial person coming to your website. And it's their first time there. You want to offer them something. It's great for just offering a coupon. Uh, join the list. We'll send you a coupon. Works great for that as well as it does click to scroll pop-ups. So if someone, if you have a super long page, it's because it is Boom, um, Valerie. So just to address what you said, uh, it's actually a fork of Bloom. So during somewhere along Bloom's development process, Infusionsoft asked to use their plugin and develop it themselves from that point. So it's what we call a fork. So it's exactly, it is Bloom to, to answer your question. That, that, that's where it started. And Infusionsoft is making it their own for their own purposes and to handle or to, to best serve their clients. Great. So, so it is Bloom, to answer your question. So we know it's stable. Uh, I, well, it, it's as stable as long as Bloom's development process was stable. All right. And there we go. So, so that's a lot of the, or that's what we use as far as our WordPress implementation for, for plugins. Those are the kind of the three or the four big ones. We didn't really go autofill form fields because it's a little bit simple. I'm late to the, oh, sorry, we, so we have one question here. I'm late to the party today. Are we comparing three option packages or are we looking to how to use all three in conjunction? So we're just we're doing a general overview. So you currently use Thrive. So so the point was to to identify what free options are for, or what the three options are for your option strategies. So, so the three are, we have the pop-up maker, we have forum lift, and we have the Infusionsoft official opt-in plugin. We use Thrive, uh, but it's $67 or however, if you have a premium package, it's $19 a month. Um, but we use Thrive and it's a great software, but the point was to get up and going for a client who doesn't want to spend a lot of money, what, what, what are the tools that you have access to that will be easy to set up and quick and, and simple for them in order to be able to manage? Great. So do we have any questions? Back to Formlift, could you show us how a checkbox selection sends them to a different thank you page? Absolutely. So let's go find where that page was. So I'll just show you an example first. So on, on our formless page, we, we, we have two packages in order for people to be able to buy a license. We, we have the single domain, we have the end domain. Now, depending on which one I want, I want to send them to a specific uh, order form, one for the $27 and one for the $157. So just as an example, we're going to click this one, and it's going to ask me to verify my submission. I'm not a robot, and it's going to take me to the $27 page. Great, awesome, fantastic. So now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to try the 10 domain license at $157, and again, asking you to verify my submission. I am not a robot. And now we're on the form lift multi-site license order form for $157. So to actually see how that looks like, uh, let's grab a form here using the API, so the form import feature. Or it uh, actually starts with, there we go. So this is the exact same form that we actually just looked at. The, the styling, since this is a demo site, is horrible, but that's not really the point. <laughs> so if we go down here, 
and I want to be able to send people based on which radio button they select, I'd go to Create Redirect. Uh, there's, there's two options, so I'd create two. And from the dropdown, I'd select uh, which field I want to redirect based off of. So the, it pulls the label of the, what, whatever the field is, so uh, not the actual ID. If there is no label, it pulls the ID. If there is a label, it pulls the label. And then you select which option that it is that you want to redirect based off of. So if it's equal to uh, the $27 option, we're going to send them to this specific landing page, just a random page right there. And if it's equal to $157, we're going to send them to this random page. Let's go to one that actually exists. All right. And on top of that, if none, if they submit it and you're only doing these for a few options, but they, it's not actually a required field, we will go to a default thank you page. And um, yeah, so we got. So we lost audio. Is, is the audio back for you, Will? I think it was just Will because uh, I I heard you the whole time. Um, oh, okay. And this is being recorded, so uh, yeah. Great. We'll, okay. we'll have the recording available. Yeah, fantastic. So on top of that, if none of the requirements are met, we're just going to send them to this default thank you page. And we can click Update. And we're good to go. So now, as soon as someone submits that, uh, all we have to do now is take that thank you page uh, and paste it into the Infusionsoft thank you page uh, area. So let's go do that. Just to show you what it looks like. So here is that exact web form that we just pulled via the API into uh, that website. And we can see that it's already set up. So all we have to do is put the thank you page URL uh, that we copied from here. And paste it into there. And we're good to go. It's all set up. So that's probably one of the neatest things that Formlift does. Again, that's not natively free. So as soon as you download it from the WP plugins area, uh, it's not natively free. You'll have to go purchase the license. But uh, it's cheaper than, for example, using MyFusion Helper plus this uh, to do just that, which is what a lot of people do. OK. So thank you for your question. Cost. So the cost is $27 for a single license. Uh, it's uh, $157 for 10. I don't really want to talk about, you know, I don't. It's, my, my point is not to promote it. You know, that's not what the webinar is about. But really, I just want to introduce you to these are the options that are that are available for you. So it's fully. Uh, just a note. It's fully developed by by myself, and I update it regularly, and it's maintained. And it's an option, even with the new landing page builder and all of that stuff coming out. It's an option we'll continue to serve to to people. So it'll be along for, or it'll be around for a long time to come. And you just again, you just go to the WP plugins area, uh, search form lift, and it's right there for you. All right. So Matt. I think that I've pretty much covered everything that I wanted to. Is there any uh, questions that you had? Yeah, so um, I, I love this. This is fantastic. You know, uh, there, there are – and that one feature you're showing in particular, the redirect, based on, you know, what uh, what's entered into the form is really, really powerful. I mean, you can you can do that, like you said, with, you know, plus this, MyFusion Helper have those options as well. Um, but I love that this is integrated into WordPress and directly into Infusionsoft. Really, really powerful stuff. And that's, that's just one of the many, many features that, that this 
the form lift plugin has. Um, I, I'm, I'm wondering if you can maybe clarify a little bit more. Um, you, you touched on it a bit, but um, the the pop up maker, right? So um, that that is a really robust tool set for for doing pop up Extremely. forms. Um, but you, you did mention that it doesn't natively integrate directly into Infusionsoft. So maybe you can touch on real quick, kind of like, because I know a lot of people here like to see the nuts and bolts and the how to do this stuff. Like, how would I integrate um, what I'm doing with Pop-Up Maker using Formlift into uh, Infusionsoft? So what, uh, what I specifically do, so the reason that Pop-Up Maker is really useful is because with this is exactly what I do. If I'm using Formlift, I can click on this copy shortcode, go over to the pop-up maker, open whatever pop-up that I have, and stick it in the pop-up. Right? So, so that, that's why it's really, really great, because now you have two extremely robust tools uh, working in tandem together. So you can use the redirect tool, you can use the auto-population feature, you can use all of that good stuff in addition to using or having the fully functional um, pop-up maker uh, running your more complex automation on your WordPress side while Formlift is running your really complex automation on your Infusionsoft side. So using these tool tools together is kind of like taking the official opt-in plugin that Infusionsoft just made and kind of upping the game a bit. So it's a, it's a little bit more technically inclined to you to obviously do the more robust version, but using these two in tandem is almost identical to using the Infusionsoft official opt-in plugin minus the customizability of everything. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's, okay, that's brilliant. I love it. Well, it's so easy too, just putting the short code in there and yeah. boom, there you go. And you're good to go. So, um, I'm gonna, so here's an example of exactly what that looks like. So, so this is the Training Business Pros homepage, and I can scroll down here, and there we go. That's, that's what a pop-up maker or a, a fairly standard pop-up maker pop-up form looks like. It's super simple, clean. Of course, you can get as complex as, as you want. Uh, anything that you put in the pop-up is completely short code compatible with any um, whatever builder or you know, short code builder that you have on your website at the moment. So if you're using Aveda or using... Um, what's the other one? It's called um, Content Builder, Thrive Content Builder. Anything that you put into that web form, will, the short codes will populate within the pop-up, and you can do a whole bunch of cool stuff. And there's Formlift working. It's doing the validation, making sure people don't get sent to the hosted web form and all of that good stuff. Super, uh, super easy, super simple, looks great. It's mobile responsive, so if we do... We can check that it's mobile responsive by doing control shift I and you know it syncs with the screen and all that good stuff. Very nice. Very nice. Um and this is this is really Go ahead, go sorry. Ahead. Okay. Well, I was gonna say so since <laughs> it's just a pop up maker, it doesn't necessarily need to integrate with Infusionsoft in order for it to be useful because it does one thing really, really, really well, and that's make pop-ups. So, and you'd use other robust tools in order to put stuff into the pop-ups that natively integrate with Infusionsoft, like Formlift or, or Thrive or things like that. Yeah, yeah. That's so powerful. And I'd, I'd love, you know, Scott commented here. Uh, Scott uses the, the, the Formlift uh, you know, plug-in, and uh, he shares it with his clients as needed. He's got the 10 license version. Um, and, and you know what he what he says here is is really impactful. Is it keeps their web designers happy and it reduces pushback from webmasters. If you've ever been you know working with a client and and you know you need to get these uh, these these tools these assets onto the website these forms right. Um, it can be it can be a bit of a headache sometimes, you know, if they have to take the code from Infusionsoft, you know, web form and the HTML and, and you know customize it and apply you know CSS and make sure it's all you know configured right and that the styling is is all there. Like that can be a headache if if anyone's ever experienced that, and I I, I would be surprised if most of us haven't. Um, that that is a bit of a headache, and this really um, just eliminates. All of that, all of that frustration, and, and makes it very, very easy to, to to bring these things together. Super cool. 
Yes, screaming Super cool. awful, Karen says. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. So I, I, I guess – oh, you go first, Matt. Well, I was going to say, I, I do want to ask a question of everybody who's, who's on the webinar here. Um, you know, uh, Adrian's mentioned, you know, some different ways to – uh, to leverage forms on your website, right? There's obviously top of funnel and lead capture and, you know, newsletter sign up and, and you know, offering a lead magnet, those types of things, um, but also a, uh, you know, an intake intake forms. Um, middle funnel. Yeah, middle of funnel, uh, order forms, you know, those types of things. Um, what are some, some other ways, guys? And we've got like 40 people on the, the webinar here, so I'm, I'm – uh, I'm going to be shocked if we can't get some some input from from uh, the group here. What what are some different ways that you are using forms on your WordPress websites, or even just just using the bare bones Infusionsoft web forms in your processes in uh, you know promoting your services or um, you know uh, assisting and um, you know, assisting clients, things like that. What are some ways if you guys want to chat in? Uh, some some things you're doing that you feel like might be uh, creative ways to use forms, um, creative ways to use uh, you know integrations with WordPress or some things that you might see. Go ahead and chat in opportunities of, of ways that you could use these types of integrations more effectively um, with with, uh, with your clients, your prospects, uh, and all of that. Well, what are some some examples? Come on, guys, chat it in. I've got a ton of ideas here, but I want to hear from you. So Ellen says, not super exciting, but uh, just collecting data for quote forms to help qualify leads before speaking to the prospects. Yeah, that is actually really exciting. I mean, how much time do you spend talking to the wrong people every week, every month, right? And this is, you know, it's, it's important to put your best foot forward. If you're talking about a prospect who may or may not be qualified, you want to make sure that what they're seeing and what they're experiencing on your website and through your forms is a is a quality experience, right? And so if you're just, you know, using standard Infusionsoft web forms, not so not so impressive, but uh this, you know, this really puts your best foot forward. Um let's see here. Uh Sean says he's inserted a quick opt-in at the top of his site after a delay using the, the Infusionsoft WordPress plugin. Really handy. Yeah, that's very cool. Very cool. Uh, optimized press plugin opt-in forms through that optimized press plugin says Derek very cool Ellen is smiling <laughs> uh, Valerie uses forms to uh, customize oh I see Derek so, says uh, has opt-in form integration already form list looks like a nice way too though so I just want to interject because I saw I saw someone mention the 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 so uh, I'm sure some of you who use Gravity Forms may be wondering why I didn't include the Infusionsoft add-on for Gravity Forms, and that's because uh, it's no longer being updated and maintained by the people who created it. So I just want to note that uh, it may or some people have been experiencing problems recently with the Gravity Forms Infusionsoft add-on. And that's because it's no longer being maintained by the people who created it. So it's kind of a use at your own risk situation because WordPress is updated since since its creation, and Infusionsoft has changed their XML RPC since it's been uh, since it's last been updated. So I just wanted to mention that for the person that uh, mentioned that they use Grav the Gravity Forms Infusionsoft add-on. Great, great. I'm glad saw, you mentioned that. Yeah. So that's the reason it didn't make it uh, to to this list. And so, and Ellen Butler is saying that it's their support is the worst. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's another. So you know, if anybody has any questions, my my email is open to you. So so feel free to ask for support if you have anything uh, that that you need. And I also actually just want to take this moment is I came prepared today with with a gift to to anybody who's willing to take action. So so here is a uh, a license. Uh, FLP underscore business that should say booster. So if you go to your your WP admin uh, plugins area, you go download Formlift. You can just type that into the license key, and the first ten people to do so will have a premium version of Formlift for as long as they live. Whoa, that's awesome. 
Oh my gosh, it's gonna be like a race. We'll see. We'll see. So, so the first ten people to go do that, uh, you know, no email, no nothing required. Just a free, just a free premium license for you to use for your website or for your client or whoever you want to use it for. But there's only ten of them. So can you show real quickly, like if how somebody would do that, where they would go to do that? So in order to install form lifts, all you have to do is go to the plugins, click on Add New, type in form lift. It'll show up. Click the install button, and as soon as you do that, you go to the uh, form lift that's closed up. There's a settings area, and the first tab, you just stick in your license. So uh, the license, again, is FLP underscore business booster, all one word. I'll zoom in for anybody that's not able to see that. <laughs> <laughs> And for those of you watching on the recording, uh, I'm going to pretty much guarantee that, uh, that, the, that the 10 have been taken. So what if, if, if I put that license key in there um, and I'm like number 11, uh, what, what's, what's going to happen? How will I know if I have gotten it or not? It'll, 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 it'll tell you that the, the, the maximum limit of domains has been registered for this license key. Got it. Got it. Cool. Okay, and so, but if you, you know, if you're if you're bought in now and you want to go get it, you can go to Form Lift, and it'll cost you a short, you know, twenty-seven dollars and change. If you're in America, since all of our prices are in Canadian dollars, you immediately get a thirty percent discount because our, our pricing <laughs> is Canadian. It's twenty-seven dollars Canadian, so that's only like you know two dollars American for you guys right now, right? So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, something like yeah. that. <laughs> wow, that's awesome, Adrian. Um, this is this is really powerful stuff, and uh, you know, like uh, like Adrian said to me, he's he's uh, uh, he is an expert. He's a developer uh, with you know Infusionsoft, and well, I shouldn't say an Infusionsoft developer. He's a developer uh, with things related to Infusionsoft, uh, with training business pros up in Toronto, and uh, but the developer for Formlift, and uh, and and the other one that uh, that you mentioned. Um, was uh, the autofill form fields. I think that's a great one. I'm going to put the links to all the stuff that uh, Adrian mentioned on the, the webinar here today. Uh, I'm going to put that in the chat in just a moment. But um, Adrian's an expert here, you guys, and uh, you know, really, really generous to, to offer your uh, you know um, uh, email for people to, to contact you. That's uh, that's Adrian at trainingbusinesspros.com. Is that right? Pardon? Your your email address. It's, so uh, my Adrian email address is – there's two of them. You can either send emails for, for questions and queries to adrian at trainingbusinesspros.com, uh, or since I also run Formlift, you can send emails to info at formlift.net, and I am available through either of those channels, or you can go to the trainingbusinesspros.com website, go to the contact page, and get in touch with us. Very cool. Very cool. Well, this is this is super, super valuable stuff, and um, – yeah, like I said, guys, if uh, if you've got questions or or want to uh, you know even brainstorm or um, you know bounce some ideas off of uh, Adrian, um, you know reach out to him. There are the two web uh, or sorry email addresses in the the chat there for you. And uh, yeah, Chris is asking how he gets the pro version. So so uh, <laughs> there used to be a pro version and a free version, but so they're actually all the same. So all you need to do in order to ac access premium features is install all the free version. Through WordPress and then license activate it. So the uh, license activation just unlocks the other features to answer your question. So download the free version, install it, you're good, put in that license key, and you're good to go. Cool, cool. Uh, Nathan's saying he's downloaded but doesn't see where to enter the key. Yeah, if you go there, Nathan, like, uh, like you can see on Adrian's screen. So you want to go to settings. I'll, I'll scroll up in a little bit here. You want to go to form lift settings. And then click on the license management tab. It's right at the top. Put in your key, click the activate button, and you're good to go. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. Cool stuff. Cool stuff. This is, again, thank you so much, Adrian. Um, it's always a pleasure to, to hang out with you, and um, this, is, this is really valuable stuff. Uh, looking forward to seeing you know, what, uh, what you've got coming down the line. I know you guys are busy 
doing all kinds of amazing things for uh, our customers and our partners and um, just great stuff in the, the digital marketing space. Um, and guys, the, uh, the links to the three, well, four tools that, uh, that Adrian mentioned, I just pasted those, uh, those links in the chat window there for you. So be sure you grab those, go and check them out, and uh, uh, again, we will have the recording of this on the landing page uh, by the end of this week, so you can kind of refer back to that if you, if you want to review this again. But um, awesome stuff, Adrian, awesome stuff. Thank, thank you, you, thank you again for, for joining us. I really appreciate it. It's been, a, it's been a great time. I hope I was able to, to help some people find some new tools that they can either use for themselves or their clients uh, to, to really up everybody's digital marketing game. I really hope that, that that's what we were able to accomplish that today.